Hello friends. Here we have 3 raised to x minus 2 raised to x is equal to 65 where x is an integer. Let's find the value of x. And in this equation here we can write 3 raised to x whole raised to 1 minus 2 raised to x whole raised to 1 is equal to 65. Because every value must have 1 as an exponent. We can replace 1 is equal to 2 upon 2. So let's do the same. 3 raised to x whole raised to 2 upon 2 minus 2 raised to x whole raised to 2 upon 2 is equal to 65. Now if we have a raised to b whole raised to c upon d then we can write like this a raised to b into c upon d and also write like this a raised to c whole raised to b upon d and by using this rule on this side here we can write 3 raised to x upon 2 whole square minus 2 raised to x upon 2 whole square is equal to 65. Now just for convenience let's call 3 raised to x upon 2 is equal to t and 2 raised to x upon 2 is equal to k. So now we have t square minus k square is equal to 65. Now we have an identical situation like a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. In this manner here we can write t plus k into t minus k is equal to 65. Now 13 into 5 is equal to 65 and 65 into 1 is equal to 65. Let's go ahead by using this factor and for this we will check it later on and we can see t plus k is greater than t minus k right. So we can compare t plus k is equal to 13 and t minus k is equal to 5. Now this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let's add equation 1 with equation 2. So here we have this both will be cancelled and 18 2t is equal to 18. So t is equal to 18 upon 2. So t is equal to 9. Now we have taken 3 raised to x upon 2 is equal to t. Right? So 3 raised to x upon 2 is equal to 9. 9 is 3 square. So we can also write like this. 3 raised to x upon 2 is equal to 3 square. Same base at both the side. So we can compare the exponent. So x upon 2 is equal to 2. So x is equal to 4. Now let's verify this answer. 3 raised to 4 minus 2 raised to 4 is equal to 65. So 81 minus 16 is equal to 65. So 65 is equal to 65. X is equal to 4 is the correct answer. Now let's take T plus K into T minus K is equal to 65 into 1. T plus k is equal to 65 plus t minus k is equal to 1. So these two will be cancelled. So 2t is equal to 66. So t is equal to 33. Now t is equal to 3 raised to x upon 2. 3 raised to x upon 2 is equal to 33. Now let's square both the sides. So we have 3 raised to x is equal to 32 raised to 2. So 3 raised to x is equal to 1089. This will result in non-integer solution for x and x belongs to integer as mentioned in the question. So x is equal to 4 is the correct answer. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.